Hi students! Welcome sa isa na namang video lesson sa Statistics and Probability. At sa video lesson na ito ay pag-uusapan natin ng about areas under the normal curve. Sa pagkuha natin ng area under the normal curve, importante na meron tayong hawak na z-table. So ano ba itong z-table na ito at paano ba ito gamitin? So ito yung sample natin ng z-table na gagamitin natin para sa video lesson na ito. So ito ay first part lamang, yung negative part ng ating z-table. Ang link ng ating z-table ay makikita sa ating description box. Now, kung mapapansin niyo sa ating z-table, yung ating first column at saka yung ating first row ay magkaiba yung kanilang kulay as compared to the rest of the table. So, yung ating first row at saka yung ating second, ay uh, yung ating first column ay importante kasi ito yung nagre-represent ng ating z-scores. Tapos yung nandito naman sa gitna, yung nasa white portion ng ating table, ito naman yung mga areas natin. So, paano ba ginagamit itong z-table na ito? For example, kung meron kang negative 2.75, so ang gagawin mo lang dito is i-split mo ito into two parts. Yung unang part natin is negative 2.70, yung second part naman natin ay yung 0.05. Pagkatapos nating ma-split yan into two parts, ang gagawin lang natin is hahanapin natin yung bawat parts na yan. Yung first part natin ay hahanapin natin sa first column, yung second part naman natin ay hahanapin natin sa first row. So let's start with finding negative 2.70. Dito natin makikita si negative 2.70 at si 0.05 naman ay makikita natin sa ating first row. Pagkatapos nating mahanap yung location ng dalawang numbers, ang next natin na gagawin ay kukuhanin natin yung intersection ng dalawang numbers na yan. So in this case, ang intersection ng negative 2.70 at ng 0.05 ay 0.0030. So ibig sabihin niyan para sa negative 2.75, ang kanyang corresponding area ay 0.0030. So, ganyan yung paggamit natin ng ating z-table. Now, to check kung nasusundan ninyo, please try to find the following. Number 1, ano yung area na nagko-correspond sa negative 1.45? If your answer is 0.0030, 735, then you are correct. Pangalawa, ano yung area na nagko-correspond sa negative 0.76? Kung ang inyong sagot ay 0.2236, then you are correct. Third, ano yung area na nagko-correspond sa negative 1.51? Kung ang nakuha ninyo ay 0.0655, then tama ang answer na nakuha ninyo. Ito yung ating suggested steps sa paghahanap ng area under the normal curve. So una, draw or sketch a normal curve and locate the given z value on the normal curve. Pangalawa, shade the region of the curve according to the condition of the z value, whether it is below, above, or between. Third, use the table of the area under the normal curve to find the corresponding area. Fourth, choose the appropriate operation based on step 2 and 3. Now, when the z value is to the left or any related terms like below, less than, then just write the value we obtained in step number 3. When the z value is to the right or any related terms like above, greater than, more than, subtract 1 by the obtained value in step 3. And third, when the shaded region is in between of the two z values, subtract the biggest by the smallest value obtained in step number 3. And lastly, label the shaded region and draw a conclusion. Based on sa ating suggested steps sa paghahanap ng area under the normal curve, makaka-form tayo ng tatlong cases. Una, kapag ka ang area na hinahanap natin ay below the given z-score. So nakalagay doon kanina that when the value of z is to the left or any related terms like below, less than, and other terms related to it, just write the value we obtained in step number 3. So ibig sabihin yan, para sa case number 1, Kung ano yung value na makukuha natin doon sa ating z-table, automatic na yun yung magiging area ng ating uh, given z-value. 
So just to illustrate that one, kung ito yung ating normal curve, uh, suppose na dito yung location ng ating z, uh, z squared, say this is our z equals a. Now kapag ka ang case natin ay below the given z score, so ang isi-shade natin dito na part ay yung nasa left side ng point na ito. So ibig sabihin niyan itong part na ito yung ating isi-shade. So in notation, for case number 1, we have here the probability that z is less than a. So ito yung notation na gagamitin natin para sa case number 1. Okay, so halimbawa, find the area below z equals negative 1.35. So ito ay example natin para sa case 1 kasi yung area na pinapahanap natin dito ay yung nasa baba ng negative 1.35. So uh, based on sa ating suggested steps kanina, ang una natin gagawin is sketch natin yung ating graph. So it, uh, kung ito yung ating normal curve, and then suppose this one here is the location of our negative uh, 1.35, so, ang next natin na gagawin dyan is isi-shade natin yung ating area na kailangan depende kung ano yung condition sa ating given na statement. So, kaya nga nung sinabi ko kayo na it's below z equals negative 1.35. So, ang isi-shade natin dito ay yung nasa left side. After nyan, ay gagamitin natin yung ating table para makuha natin yung kanyang corresponding area. So, uh, again, kailangan natin i-split yung negative 1.35 na ito into two parts. So, yung first natin na part is yung negative 1.30 yung second natin na part is yung 0 0.005. So, hanapin natin si negative 1.30 sa ating first column. So, ito yung kanyang location. Tapos, si 0 0.005 naman ay sa ating first row natin siya hahanapin. So, pagkatapos niyan ay kuhanin natin yung intersection ng dalawang values na ito. Ang magiging intersection natin ay nasa 0 0.0885. So, ibig sabihin niyan, ang area below z equals negative 1.35 ay 0 0.0885. So kung gagamitin natin yung notation natin kanina, the probability that z is less than negative 1.35 is equal to 0 0.0885. Now take note na less than ang ginamit natin dito since ang statement natin is below z equals negative 1.35. Now, yung second case naman natin is kapag ang area na hahanapin natin is above the given z-score. So, based on sa ating statement kanina, when the z-value is to the right or any related terms like above, greater than, or more than, we subtract 1 by the obtained value in step number 3. So, kung ano, natin kung ano yung value na makukuha natin doon sa ating z-table, ang gagawin natin is isasubtract lang natin siya from 1. So, Illustrate natin yung case number 2 na ito. Kung ito yung ating normal distribution, suppose this one here is our z score. Uh, suppose z is equal to a. So, since ang pinapahanap dito na area is yung area above the given score, so ang shade natin dito is yung nasa right side. So, ang notation naman na gagamitin natin for case number 2, we have here the probability that z is greater than a is equal to 1 minus the probability that z is less than a. Now, kung titignan natin yung ating notation dito, nagbago yung ating inequality sign dito. From greater than, so ginawa natin siyang less than dito and then sinatrack natin siya from 1. So one thing na kailangan nating tandaan na yung ating z-table na gagamitin sa video lesson na ito, ang kinukuha niya na area is palaging nasa left side ng ating graph. So since palaging nasa left side ng ating graph ang kanyang kinukuhang area, so that is why ang ginamit natin dito is the probability that z is less than a. Tapos, uh, ibig sabihin niyan, dito sa ating graph, ito muna yung kukuha natin na area. Okay? Pagkatapos niyan, since alam natin na yung total area ng isang normal curve ay 1, so isasubtract lang natin siya from 1 para makuha natin yung area ng shaded part ng ating graph. Now, para sa ating second example, Find the area to the right of z equals negative 1.35. So the same yung ating z value na given dito uh, doon sa ating example number 1. But this time, ang hahanapin natin na area is yung nasa right side niya. So again, ang unang step natin is sketch natin yung ating graph. So if this is our standard normal curve, so ang location ng ating negative 1.35 ay nandito. And then since... Uh, we are looking for the area to the right of z equals negative 1.35. So, ang shaded part natin dito ay yung nasa right side. Now, pagkatapos niyan, gagamitin natin yung ating z-table. 
So, negative 1.35, again, split natin into two parts. So, negative 1.30 at saka 0 0.005 yung ating magiging value dito. So, kukuha na natin uli yung kanilang intersection. Uh, what we have here is 0 0.0885. So, yung area na nakuha natin dito, ito yung area na nasa left side ng ating uh, z-score. So, dito yung 0 0.0885. Now, since ang concern natin dito is yung shaded part natin, which is yung nasa right side ng ating graph, so gamit yung ating notation kanina, uh, the probability that z is, la is greater than negative 1.35 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.0885. So isasubtract natin yung unshaded part ng ating graph para makuha natin yung area ng natitirang portion ng ating graph. So, Ibig sabihin niyan, ang magiging answer natin dito, we have here z is greater than negative 1.35 is equal to 0 0.9115. So yung total area natin para sa ating shaded part, we have here 0 0.9115. Now yung third case naman na makikita natin dito ay yung uh, area between the two given z-scores. So, paano naman kaya natin kukuhanin yung area between two z-scores? Ito din yung process para makuha natin yung mga values doon sa ating empirical rule na na-discuss previously. So, when the shaded region is in between uh, of the two z-value, subtract the biggest by the smallest value obtained in step number three. So, ang gagawin lang natin is kukuhanin natin pareho yung area ng dalawang z-scores na yon, And then pagkatapos niyan ay isasubtract lang natin silang dalawa. So, yung biggest value minus yung smallest value natin, makukuha na natin yung area in between two uh, z-scores. So, para ma-illustrate natin yan, kung ito yung ating standard normal curve, and then suppose this is the location of our first uh, z-value, and then suppose we have another z value here at b. So, para makuha natin 'yan, since ang target lang natin dito is mahanap natin yung area in between a and b. So, una muna nating kukuhanin is yung area ni b. Okay? So, ibig sabihin niyan, buo 'yan hanggang doon sa dulo ng ating graph sa left side. And then pagkatapos niyan, isukuhanin natin yung area ni a. Okay? So, uh, from point a hanggang doon sa left side natin, so, yun din yung area ni A. Now, since ang target natin dito ay yung A, A to B lang na area, so meaning to say, para makuha natin yan, isasubtract natin itong portion na ito sa ating graph kasi ito yung common sa dalawang uh, graph natin dito or sa dalawang areas natin dito. So, ito yung tatanggalin natin at ang matitira dyan ay yung nasa gitna lang na portion ng ating graph. So, sa notation, Ganito naman yung ating gagamitin na notation. So we have here the probability that z is greater than a but less than b is equal to the probability that z is less than b minus the probability that z is less than a. So ibig sabihin yan, itong area ni, ni z which is less than b, tapos isasubtract natin itong area ni z which is less than a. Okay? So yan yung para sa case number 3. Now, para naman sa ating third example, find the area between z equals negative 1.35 and z equals 2. So again, sketching our graph, this is the location of negative 1.35 and this is the location of positive 2. So since area between the two given z-scores lang yung ating hahanapin, so yung shaded part lang yan is itong part lang na ito. So, next natin na gagawin is we use our z-table. Ayan, so, uh, kanina alam naman natin na si negative 1.35, this is equal to 0 0.0885. So, hindi na natin siya hahanapin dito sa ating table. Si positive 2 na lang yung ating hahanapin because I am using the positive part ng ating z-table. So, for positive 2, since uh, 2 lang yung nakalagay dyan, so ibig sabihin yan, Yung, yung first part natin dito is 2.00, tapos yung second part naman natin is 0. So, pag hinanap natin yan sa ating table, dito yung magiging location ng ating negative 2, ay, sorry, positive 2.00, tapos nasa second column natin yung 0 na yun. Okay, nasa taas. And then, intersection ng dalawa, which is yung 9, 0 0.9772. So, gamit yung ating notation kanina, the probability that z is greater than negative 1.35 but less than 2 is equal to, we start with the uh, bigger number, which is yung 2, 
Tapos, isasubtract natin yung probability ng ating smaller number, which is yung negative 1.35. So, with that, for positive 2, our area is 0 0.9772. And then, for negative 1.35 naman, we have 0 0.0885. So, subtracting these two values, magkakaroon tayo ng 0 0.8887. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung area ng shaded part ng ating graph is just equal to 0 0.8887. Okay, so to check kung talagang nasundan yung ating discussion, so you try to answer the following. So find the area or probability for each of the given below. So number one, we have below z equals 1.15. For number two, above z equals 2.56. For number three, between z equals 0 0.30 and z equals 2.61. For number four, probability that z is less than negative 0 0.35. For number 5, probability that z is greater than negative 3.21. And for number 6, probability that z is greater than negative 1.23 but less than positive 2.61. So, you have a uh, few minutes to answer. So, pwede nyo munang i-stop yung ating video uh, before ninyo siya panoorin yung magiging sagot niya. So, here are the answers. For number 1, you have 0 0.8749. For number 2, you have 0 0.0052. For number 3, you have 0 0.3776. For number 4, you have 0 0.3632. For number 5, you have 0 0.9993. And for number 6, you have 0 0.8862. Ayan, so congratulations guys. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa ating video lesson today.